Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Angela if you have not met me yet and today I am going to teach you how to have the perfect Disney Instagram. So I'm going to show you um, what goes into like an aesthetically pleasing Instagram specifically if you have like a Disney account or you have a lot of Disney related content and I'm going to show you how I edit my personal pictures. So if you're interested stay tuned if not I'll catch you in the next one. So for those who don't know me, my name is Angela. I am doing the DCP Fall Advantage program for 2020 and I will be a PhotoPass photographer. So I have my own photography business and I have a lot of experience with photos. So I thought this would be a fun video to do. Uh, if you like my content, make sure to subscribe and comment and I can't wait to see your Disney Instagrams as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to record my phone. Two, one. Perfect. So I'm gonna go to the side of the screen again like I did in my decorating my DCP dorm video. Perfect. And I'm gonna have my screen uh, recording here. So I'm just gonna show you my Instagram and um, show you like what we're really working with right now. So this is my Instagram. We have a lot of pictures of just me in general, and then every once in a while I have a picture with somebody else. So for example, this one's with my dad. Um, this one is with Ben Suolo. And this is with like all my work friends. So again, I just have a bunch of different kind of photos, but you see like a consistent theme, so everything is pretty bright. Um, I either have a lot of like Pixar like stars or I have like glitter in the background or if not like it has like just a little bit of green so I try to add just a little <laughs> spunk <laughs> to each photo uh, just to make it a little bit more dynamic and I mean that's honestly what I like to do for my photos my photo I want to say like aesthetic is constantly changing so this is like just how I edit my photos right now um, so it could change um, I don't know when, but it could change. <laughs> so this is just how I edit my photos right now. And then I also recommend putting uh, the DCP advantage in your bio as well, just so people who are in the DCP as well um, can know right away that you're part of the DCP and like you're in that kind of um, niche. And then they have like all those options if they want to connect with you or not, and it just makes it easier for everybody. Um, so one thing that I look for in um, a Disney Instagram is consistency and also just posting reliability. So for example, this post I posted three days ago. Um, before that, this one was posted March 26th, which was a few days before that. And then this one was posted March 20th. So I usually try to post mi bare minimum once a week. Um, but besides that, mm, I would say twice a week is a good, a good rule of thumb. Um, just so you're constantly producing content um and also so um you just have i mean for me i just use that as like a diary of my life so you just have that updated um look so because no one really wants to follow an account that like their last photos from like january and it's like why am i following you <laughs> um so you just want to add a value to people that follow you uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through one of my photos and I'm just going to show you how I edited it and we'll go from there. So the one photo I'm going to edit is going to be this photo right here. Um, this photo did fairly well and this is the photo that I announced I am going to be doing the Disney College program. And what I did here is I did a lot of color correction and then I also added Tinkerbell um, in my hand. So I'm just going to teach you how to do that. And let's get started. So this is the photo straight from my camera. As you can see, um, it has good lighting, but it's not like the best. Um, and also, it's just a little dark for my personal aesthetic. So we want to brighten that up. Um, we also want to crop that in because you don't need like all of my legs. It's just not necessary. Um, and then because I'm holding my hands out like this, I do want um, something to be right there. So we're going to go into Lightroom first. So I'm going to take that photo. So what I personally use is I use my own presets. Um, so my presets are going to be down here. I just make sure I'll load. So this one is pink flowers. This one is a jungle. This one's hustle, cool summer, coloring book, and bright suns. So I think I use jungle, which is going to be right here. 
Um, so what I don't like right now with the lighting is that I'm a little red. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the temperature just a tad bit. Um, but for some settings here, um, I raised the highlights, raised the shadows. Uh, as you can see here, I lowered the whites, raised the blacks a little bit. And then I put, so you can see this is very green and then this is very like purple. So I like it right there. I raised the vibrance and lowered down the saturation. For effects, I did, oh I raised the clarity just a little bit because I just wanted a little bit more definition. And then I sharpened it a little bit and then I had color noise reduction. Um, so I had it around there. I can also do this. So it's very cool toned, um, as you can see. And then what I'm also going to do is crop this just a little bit, actually a lot of it. <laughs> um, something I learned in film school is that you never want to cut photos at the joints, so you never want to cut it at the ankles or the neck um, or at like your hips, so you definitely want to find like a medium zone where you can cut that at. Um, so this is the medium zone I chose. I'm just going to reset it. Okay, so this is the picture that now I'm working with. I'm going to export that to camera roll. And then we're going to go look for Tinkerbell with a transparent background. So we're going to see which one I like the most. So this one looks the cutest. Um, so you see here that there is a little bit of sparkles um, as well as Tinkerbell herself. So I'm going to add to photos. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Photoshop Mix. This is free, by the way. And then I'm going to go to Image on my iPhone. Take that. So that is my photo. And then I'm going to add an image and put Tinkerbell right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out Tinkerbell. And then we can just do Auto. And then it automatically puts Tinkerbell into place, especially since there was only a transparent background. And then I'm going to just size her down a lot, because obviously, like, she's a fairy. And then I'm going to put her down right there. So that is what I'm working with. Okay, now I'm going to go into Perfect 365. And I'm going to take any dark shadows out of my face. So what I really want to do here is, so this is the automatic ones, no look. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to take this. And what I usually only do is I just put the eye concealer and I put it all the way up. So you see like those shadows came off. So it doesn't look like I have too many eye bags. I'm just being real here. So I'm going to adjust down a little bit. Perfect. And then if you want to, a lot of people ask me about this, I also bring it into PixArt. And then you're going to go to brushes. And then as you can see here, there's a bunch of brushes you can use. So I'm going to go to one I use a lot, which is this one. And then if you want to, you can put, you see like pixie dust all around you. And then you can also erase it. So there's only that. So this easily could be something that I put on my profile um, because um, of its brightness and also it was a big moment for me. So I'm going to save that. And then how I also post it on my story is I go to Story Lux. And then we can add a photo. So let's save for this one. I can add this. Bam. So then like when I'm promoting it on my Instagram story, I can just like go like that. I really would not use that background. Let me look for a cuter one. Cute. Um, and then I can do like a granite type look. So I can use that as well um, for whatever I'm doing. And then what I also use to kind of like map out what my um, feed's gonna look like is it has something called Planoli. So it just maps out all of my future photos. So I actually just finished my um, last round of it. That's why there's no like pending posts. But I can add a photo here. And then I can add this. 
there we go so then I can see like how it fits so actually I can do a bunch of different photos let me go to insta Q and let me add let's see this one this one and this one for fun So as you can see here, I can look over my feed and then I can decide like which ones look the best. So for this one specifically, I would I would likely just use it as this uh, or maybe put this in the middle. No, actually, I like it to be as colorful as possible. So I would actually put it like this personally. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to post these photos, but um, that's how like I map out what my Insta feed is going to look like because I get a lot of comments on that as well. And also it just adds a lot of coherency and like a flow because you want all of your photos to be very scrollable. Uh, so it just helps you with that as well. And that's how I edit all of my pictures for my Instagram. And that's what I personally think um, is the best for like Disney style Instagram posts. If you have any more questions, please leave them down in the comments and I would love to respond to them. And let me know what you think of the video. Again, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.